Yo dudes, it is early in the morning right now. And I mean early. So of course I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace and I came across another yard sale. But here's the problem. It's about two hours away from me and the dudes were saying that early birds are welcome. I already don't like going to like yard sales and stuff just because it just be too cutthroat, just too everybody kicking and punching for the video games because everybody knows video games are lucrative. But now you mention that early birds are welcome. So you know people are gonna be showing up there at the break of the break. So I was like, I'm gonna show up at the break of the break of the break. Anyway, I saw a Super Nintendo in there, Nintendo 64, and then some really good Nintendo 64 titles actually. So hopefully we get there early enough to beat the competition. So I just got here and I am super early. It's kind of crazy how we were first talking. It was dark outside, but now it's light out. But anyways, we got here break of the break. There's nobody here right now. It's weird though. I'm like near the airport. I don't, uh, hopefully this is the right spot, but there's nobody here right now. The dude said he wasn't gonna be here until 5.45. I don't mind waiting 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I don't care. I just wanna grab this stuff, get all of these games and go. So let's see what happens. What's up, man? How you doing, bro? Yeah. It's a GoPro. You do like YouTube? Yeah. You uh, you go to like rot yard sales and make videos on that? Yeah. Alright. What's your channel, bro? It's uh. Oh yeah. That's fire, but you just started. Yeah, like six months ago, somewhere around there. I do the same shit, bro. I go around. I don't do YouTube, but like I go around buying video. Buy, buy, yeah. The N64. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I came down from Mass like I was. Me four. too. How long you been doing it? Like a month now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I just got out of college just why. Like my first year college, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna start. It's a good, it's good, man. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of fun, it's too. paying well, yeah, and I, I enjoy it, man. I'm just driving around on the pawn shops and stuff. Yeah. The week, so then I do a yard sale here and there. Oh, hold I'm gonna go. Yeah, I think I'm good. Yeah, I gotta go to work. Alright. A lot of love. Hey, yeah. good, good seeing you. you. It's been a while, man. Oh, the price on the bat? Yeah. 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 Usually, what people, people usually do put together a pile, add them up, take something off, come to a. That's what I was thinking. Got it. Oh. Every time it's usually a different, different stuff, but it's on the PS2. Hasn't been much this time. What's up? What's on the PS2? Hey, Mark. PS2. What? <laughs> 50. 50. I'll take that. The old and the best. What else is in there? Oh, I don't know. Still coming out. Yeah, still some coming out. Is there any more consoles in there? Consoles? Uh, I don't see any. Yeah, I think I'm wrong with this. Nah. Those are 20. What? Those are 20. Oh, does it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. I don't have enough. <laughs> I only bought like 140. <laughs> Yeah, where do we uh where do we go to? You can come right over there. Uh-huh. Somebody you wanna go first? Doesn't matter. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Fifty. That one. Seventy. Uh sixty bucks. Sixty bucks for me. We're back again with another one. It is early in the morning once again. Five in the morning to be exact. Well, 4.56 if you want to be exact, exact. And I saw another yard sale. This time it's a, I think it's a legit yard sale. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm hoping it is. I don't know what it is, but there was a ton, a ton of video games. And I tried to be sneaky. I DM them immediately. It was like, yo, can I just come by tomorrow and just buy your video games? And it was like, no, you have to come to the yard sale. It's Saturday and Sunday. 
So I was like, okay, fine. They didn't say no early birds. And I'm um, being that guy that I said I don't like and getting in on extra early. I don't just don't want to be kicking and punching. I want to go in there. I want to get the games and I want to get out, man. Bro, tell me this don't look like something straight out of a Silent Hill video game. I swear to God, if Pyramid Head pops out. Okay, firstly, look at the weather change. Look at this. It's looking so nice outside. It's beautiful. But anyway, so I was driving by. Right now, it is 5.40 a.m. And I was driving by and they got like the whole like lawn setup thing and everything going on. But the lady that was out there said things. I'm like slowing down. I'm like... Wait a minute, do you think I should be able to talk to them? And they, ladies like, go, keep going, keep going. I'm like, damn, 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 I was trying to get in there. So now I'm just sitting in some like random spot, kind of like in the middle of the street a little bit, uh, just waiting for another like hour until I can like pull up and hopefully be able to get these games, man. Going. It's been going through. She kept saying the early birds, and then I got here. Right now, it's 50 people swarming. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was here. I drove by, and she was like, "Keep going." And I was yeah, like, that's "Okay." Keep going, and then seven o'clock, and then you show up. I was 15 from the people here. Huh? It was a good one too. But yeah, I saw, gone, man. man. Oh god! Wow, I, I can't believe that. Uh, retro shop, but it's all sports. So. <laughs> Savages. <laughs> ah, it's crazy. That's what I get for respecting the rules. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I get for the rules. <laughs> okay. Man, I've been here for a while. These are all stuff you guys. Yo, Yo what's up, man? <laughs> I do. I was like, I was like, bro, when are you, when are you showing up? Bro? <laughs> I've been here for a long time. Bro, they had so much shit. Bro, they had Mario Kart Double Dash. I saw it. You got it? Nah, some, it was like a little kid, bro. He had his hand on. I, was like, I, can't, I, can't, I can't. I can't do that. I saw it all, man. What's up? Which one was that? Double Dash. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. Saw that. I saw that. All the Crash Bandicoots. And yeah. That was, that's what I was PSP doing everything. Too. Oh, I do see. All is not lost. <laughs> oh, maybe so. This thing's broken. <laughs> oh, this is the case I saw. Nothing in it. VHS. How much for the uh, 360? I'm not sure if that one works, to be honest with you. So 30. Okay. Dang. Games are five bucks. A little meat left on the board. Five bucks. Oh, you found them? Huh? I was looking for the ratchet points. Yeah, five dollars though. This game's like fifteen. Yeah, dude, I'd still take ten though. Like Maybe slide like pooper. Like the like oh like ten eight. Yeah, ten How much uh, is this um, here? Which, where did you find that one? It was in a box. Okay, that one works, so 50. Okay, 50, I'll take that. Yeah. How much is the uh, tin of Pokemon? 50? What? 50 bucks. <laughs> are, there, are there any more you guys know about? Yeah. Trying to tell the whole something? town is doing a town light today. If There's more than one of them? Yeah, yeah, if you go to the senior center downtown for two bucks, they'll give you a map. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Okay. Dude, oh man. Okay, I think I'm just going to take a take a risk. Whatever, I'm going to grab it. Yeah, well, I want these. I don't so, know. 10, 50, so 60. Um, 30 is 80, and 30 is what? 110. You do 100 even? Yeah. What was it before? You said 110. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you.
I don't even know. I it looks like this thing is empty as hell. I've never even played Pictionary before. I don't know what it's supposed to come with. Oh, what is that? Nah, it is. Uno Flash. Walker, Texas Ranger. My mom used to love this show. Hi. Yeah, they're good for kids. How do I know how much this is? Okay. Are they supposed to be on there? Um, no, it will be now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Yep. Hello. Hey, Lo. What we got there? This little. A dollar there. Okay. One dollar. One dollar. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great one. Good. Maybe someday when the senior center gets built, you'll be here. Yeah. <laughs> no, God, please, no. Okay, so I got the map. I actually don't even know where it is right now. I think I lost it, but I have it. I got the map. And somebody that I saw at the last yard sale, well, yard sale that I went to, who actually showed up here. So we're gonna mob out together and go to a bunch of yard sales and see what we can come across. Is this the yard sale? Yeah. 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 Yes, it is the yard sale. Is it inside too? Oh, it's inside. It's here and inside. Ah, okay. Can I put these? Can I put these here? Yeah, I just wanna. I'm gonna have to get some papers okay. to pull like sold or something. Yeah, I want those. I'm just gonna look upstairs. Okay. Whatever, even the art and wall, whatever is not for sale has a, a tag oh. saying not for sale. So okay. you can whatever you like. And the books, they keep coming around here. Wow, everything is for sale, huh? Yeah, most of the things, yeah, is for sale because they have to move out. You see the basement, whatever, is books and books and books. And, uh, okay. Uh, and the other things. So, just to... I'll just look around. Just to look around. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Man, there's so much stuff in here. sometimes go for something. Yeah, I know. Uh, I wouldn't make any bets on the calculator working, but... Oh, well, well okay. <laughs> I guess I'll try it. Uh, ten bucks. Shut up and take my money! Ten bucks? You got it. Hey, how are you doing? Good. Games and the controllers are in here. Oh, nice. Um, it's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> 
Your He's personal? In good shape, yeah. Nice. He's in oh, good it's, shape. It looks really good. Yeah, it's, it's running nice. And uh, I was just playing it last night. Playing it last night nice and you're letting it go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got no time anymore. Ah, you know what? Actually, that's fair. How much? How are you? There they go. Uh, they need a little bit of a cleaning, but uh, <laughs> as I bought a, uh, there. I bought a storage unit. Oh, oh, is that what you do? You buy storage units? No, I just happen to come across it. Oh, shit. I'm trying to uh, flip it off. So. I'm not mad at you. All right, right. yeah. Good with it? Yeah. Wait, is there any more video games in that unit? So if you go on uh, and look at like all my listings, I posted a bunch of them. I have Xbox 360s too. I have like, I think like, four of them. PlayStation, like PS2, PS3s? Uh, there's a couple PS3s that are not working. So I have a, bu I have a bunch of uh, consoles that aren't working. Uh, but I have literally 12 PS1s that are all God working. God damn, so, this one. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of, and then this is. Oh my God. Two full boxes. And the other day I got rid of Xbox and Xbox 360, same amount. Is this all PS2 games? All PS2, but it's all sports. Oh, they're all sports. All sports which don't sell great. Yeah. So What's it's, that one too is all sports. All sports. <laughs> yeah. So it was a it was a video game store that shut down. Oh. So that they were getting rid of, so. Wow. Yeah, That's a good come up, man. Yeah, man. Wow, dude. Wow, 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 wow. Is this not? And look at this. Four OG Xboxes controllers. What is this? What is it? We got a PS2. Just straight up craziness. This bag right. Isn't this? Yeah, this bag right here. Bro, this, everything. I Let me just, it's all set up on a table because this is insane. Okay, here we go. Everything is all set up and put on the table so oh man i don't even know where to start let's start back here with my first what i thought was a yard sale but ended up kind of being i guess what you would call like a warehouse sale apparently it's a group of people that get together once a month and i just sell stuff out of their warehouse i don't know i don't really know all the details i was a facebook marketplace that i found but the problem is that they have like basically like damn near uh like ebay prices for this stuff look at this pokemon stadium i miss this game i, I used to love this game when i was a kid they were selling it for 20 dollars. now the thing here is that you can like bundle up a bunch of stuff that you want together and then kind of like work out a price for them i saw the ps2 there and i asked him how much he wanted for it he said 50 bucks which is perfect for me because 50 dollars is my buying price for ps2s plus it had the memory card controllers and the wires so bet that was a sale and then i said okay let me see how much i can get for both this is supposed to be twenty dollars. He ended up giving me sixty dollars for both. That's fine because this Pokemon Stadium game sells for about thirty bucks. I know the label is really jacked up. I'm gonna ask for twenty five plus shipping, or I, I'll probably do twenty plus shipping and see what happens. It is a Pokemon game, so I assume I'm expecting it to sell really fast, even though the label is messed up. And then this controller, I met some other dope, dope resellers there. It was really nice to finally just get to talk to some other resellers in real time, in real life. It was really dope experience. They saw this controller and then was like, yo, you can get like 30 bucks for it. And the dude wanted five bucks. So I was like, you know what, whatever. I got the PS2 Pokemon Stadium uh, and this controller for $65. Yo, crazy thing. Some person picked up this PS2, right? It was it was the PS2, the memory card, um, the wires, and this. He, he was upset because they was asking $30 for it. This here alone, shout out to Adrian Adler. Dude, diversify. Even if you are just in one niche, watch all resellers because you never know what kind of information you can get, which I'll go over more later on in this video. But this thing alone right here, this rock band adapter, shout out to Adrian Adler. This thing goes for $40 by itself. This pays for the PS2. And then she was also asking for $50 for this big 10 of Pokemon cards. And I don't know anything about Pokemon cards. I know Pokemon cards sell, but I don't know nothing about them. I also know that these tens, I think you can get about $20 for the tens by itself. So uh, I'm not gonna go through this big thing. Of, yo, the whole thing is filled. It's it's filled up with Pokemon cards. I'm gonna make a, a whole video for, oh wait, this is a shiny on top right here. Is this thing worth anything? Y'all let me know. I have no idea. I'm going to make a whole video. Like, that's going to be a separate video where I go through this 10 of Pokemon cards. But we got the PS2. We got the 10. 
and uh, these two games. Uh, oh, and the PS4. I got this PS4 as well. She was asking $50 for the PS4, so I definitely had to pick that up. Um, shout out to my homie. He's the one that showed it to me. I want to say I paid an even $100 for the PS2, PS4, and the 10 of Pokemon cards. And then next up, you can see that there is literally nothing video game related here. And this is why I said earlier that you should really watch other people in your same niche, even if it's not the niche niche. Like we're all resellers here, but some of us are video game resellers or clothing resellers, electronics resellers. Watch them all because you can get information from everybody and you might happen to come across it. I watched somebody named Ready set resell shout out to him he goes to different estate sales and comes up often in this situation it was literally like you walk in and whatever you see that's not labeled not for sale was for sale so we started off at the garage and i went straight to this because i saw this in the pack and i know ready set resale that said that these especially brand new in the pack can go for money this one right here if you can get this brand new this is about 70 dollars but unfortunately um this one is used and open but i can still get about 30 dollars for this thing right here and then not too far from the cd player i found this little baggie of cameras now i didn't do any oh look at this sd card i didn't even realize that um i didn't do any research on these i don't know how much they're worth but they're like little mini can look this that's that one's a canon i don't know what this one is canon obviously y'all know canon canon's a good brand which which one is i don't know Oh, Toshiba. This one's a Toshiba. So, yeah, I don't know. I got to, like, look up the comps on these to see what these are worth. I'll pop them up on the screen right here so y'all can see. But um, hopefully these are worth some good money. And then we went inside, and I beelined it straight for, like, the electronics and entertainment center area. And that's when I came across this. It said Sony on it. So I was like, okay, this has got to be something. And shout out to eBay on being so innovative because I used their image function because I did not know how to look up this thing or what it, I didn't know what it was called. Like, I know it's it's a CD player, but obviously it's not a regular CD player. So I used eBay's image function to search this up. And this thing is worth over a hundred dollars. What? And right next to it was this. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I have no idea why I picked this up. Like, look, the tag right there says it's 36, well, $37. But I looked it up on like eBay and I saw it going for like 40 or 50, maybe even $70. I don't know. It was brand new sealed. I don't know why I grabbed this. And again, this is something else that i learned from ready set resell these little weird calculators if you find them just look them up use the ebay function take a picture because obviously i ain't know what they, well they're actually it's called the hewlett packard 21 but at the time i was just in a frantic frenzy trying to look around and find stuff that i can sell and i looked this thing up and it can go anywhere from like 40 to 100 dollars i've seen it sell for 40 dollars not working just for parts and i have no idea if this thing works i have no idea oh wait does it take batteries i think this thing might take i have to check to see if it works i don't know but i mean this thing can sell for 40 dollars just for parts and can you imagine my shock when i brought this stuff i laid it out on the table brought it to the dude he looked he was like this probably doesn't work i was like that's okay he was like oh i probably never used that i was like that's okay how much you want this man asked me for ten dollars for all ten for all it is ten dollars bro and last but not least from that little yard sale thing there was like i said it was a, a town wide thing so there was a map that came with it and where you went to go get the map there was a yard sale itself there so i like peeked around a little bit nothing really uh, nothing really caught my eye except this thing i actually have a friend that i put on to reselling and they sell board games and stuff like that shout out to game trading post they sell board games and so i was like okay let me go look at the board games and as i was looking through things i like like touch this right or something kept on look wait oh now you don't want to do it oh you're funny this thing was making mad noise i was like you know what it's i it feel like it's calling out to me so i looked it up and this thing can go from anywhere from 40 to 100 dollars and like this thing itself like this if you don't have the cards or anything just this thing in here can sell for like 30 dollars and look you can still see the thing they charge me a dollar this thing was just a dollar and then over here is a wild facebook marketplace find dude was selling 
four OG Xboxes for $200, which is quick maths, $50 a pop, which is my buying price for buying OG Xboxes. So I was talking to him and he said he had just bought a, not what do they call those containers? Like them things that people use to, to, to hold all their spare items. I can't think of what it's called because I'm too excited right now, but he bought one of those and I'm so mad because that's what i want to do one of these days i want to buy one of those like container things that's full of games he just he happened to buy one that was full of games and when he's selling it all off he's not like a container buyer person he just you know what i'm saying so anyways i bought all of this off of him for 200 bucks and it came with these i didn't know this was going to be in there actually came with this control and it came with three adapters for this i don't know why you needed three but came with three adapters for this control it came with this game too i didn't even know this was gonna wait is this actually and because it ah oh, i wish it was like futurama or something like that <laughs> but anyways yeah this was in there this we got all of these controllers he said the consoles were 100 percent tested they played a the game they ran fine great but he said he didn't have time he couldn't he didn't want to test all the the controllers which is fine with me um one controller per console as long as they work we got this one two three four so we got four so hopefully at least four out of the five work i might have a spare one but um it, they came with these which is excellent because a lot of times you'll find these controllers out in the wild but it doesn't have the adapter so i'm very happy that they uh, i think uh one of them might be missing the adapter but that's fine because we only need four to work and lastly is this xbox 360 which i got this and a couple of other things from a thrift store actually let me grab it hold on the most random items dude i got this xbox 360 this like a pc fan this was i want to say it was like 10 i think yeah i didn't pay 10 dollars over 10 dollars for anything so i got this here i got this here and i got this xbox 360 i think i spent like maybe 50 bucks on everything oh and i got this like health heart watch like this heart monitor watch thing um that I already sold actually and it paid for basically this entire thrift store haul so all of this stuff is essentially going to be profit which was super dope so here in the video right this is where we would take the consoles hook them up and see if they left us any goodies inside. Highly doubt there's gonna be any goodies in there. Highly doubt there's gonna be any goodies in there. That's a big possible, this is a big possible, and that there's nothing in there because I already checked. So with that being said, how do y'all feel about that segment? I'm gonna skip it in this video, but let me know if y'all like that section. I like doing it, but I don't know if y'all like watching that part. It gets me excited. Let me know how y'all feel down in the comments below. Dude, I was about to close out the video and I saw this sitting on, I completely forgot about this. This was my most recent pickup and I paid up for this for one simple reason. I need PS3 controllers. I am in desperate need of PS3 controllers. Dude was asking for 140 for this PS3, the two controllers in these games. Um, but I ended up talking them down to $80, which is fine. I can sell the console with some games or whatever, the controller for $100 plus shipping. Maybe even throw it, wait, I don't even know what games these are. I was too hype up on getting another controller. Um, but we have, oh, we got some Call of Duty games. Okay, oh, I think Skate 3 by itself is like a $10 game. But we do have three Call of Duty games and y'all know Call of Duty is my bread and butter. So I'll just sell this as a bundle. This is $20 right here. And I got myself, essentially, a free controller basically is what we're getting out of this um i needed it i need controllers because now this is going to be another 100 plus dollar ps3 that i can get out of my inventory so all in all i spent a total of 511 dollars on everything that you see on this table here and let me know what y'all think about this haul i think this was a really good one this was like my first time going from like yard sale to yard sale and let me tell y'all it is yard sale season this is great like the deals that you i thought facebook marketplace was dope yard sales i've not really gone to yard sales before so expect a lot more yard sale videos i hope y'all like them because i like making them i'm gonna catch you on the next one peace oh you, there i go you see this is what i was talking about this is what it was doing